So recently I did several episodes with Jim Mueller. He does competition chokes, hunting chokes, stuff like that. In fact, I got one of them in my hand right now. One of the main ones that I'm gonna be testing today is the H2O decoy choke from Mueller Chokes in my 20 gauge Franke Affinity 3. One of the things that he was telling me in that episode is how to properly pattern and I know there is ways and I usually don't do it that way just for lack of time or ammo or whatever but this time I'm going to go through the whole gamut with this gun. One of the things that I'm going to do that it probably causes a lot of contradiction is shoot my 20 gauge from 15 yards without a choke and one of the things that I've heard that's actually false and I've heard this my whole life and you probably have too is that you cannot shoot your shotgun without a choke in it because it will damage the threads. From what Jim Moeller told me, it's absolutely impossible to do that. There's no way that the pellets or the BBs can move 90 degrees as they're coming out at the speed they're coming out of the barrel and mess up your chokes. And he said, if you know, if you do that a couple hundred times, it may be tighter, harder to get the choke in there, but it's only because of carbon buildup. It has nothing to do with the threads are damaged. So the proper way to just see if my shotgun is actually shooting properly straight from the barrel is take the choke out and shoot it out 15 yards, five shells. So I'm gonna start out shooting five shells, no choke, 15 yards added pattern board that's 30 inches and that's actually from Chase Waterfowl. And he sent those to me to use and I really wanna say I appreciate that man. Thank you so much and if you guys wanna check them out, I believe it's chasewaterfowl.com. A great looking uh, paper with the mallard on it and then the 30 inch circle and then also the quadrants on it. So you'll see that here in a second. But anyways, after we do, we check the shotgun, we're gonna shoot it again, standing, shoulder mounted from 15 yards. Shoot it five times to see what kind of error there is and just the way I mount. If it needs to be shimmed for me. And then after that, I'm gonna put the choke in and uh, he's convinced me that I need to use the decoy. You can go listen to that on podcast. I don't wanna take all the time to talk about that on here, but there's a reason for that. And we've done multiple episodes. Go check it out, The MVM Show. Um, after I do everything that I need to do to pattern this, then I'm gonna go back to my shooting distance and I'm probably just gonna do 30 yards and see what that looks like, if everything is how it needs to be, if I don't need to shim nothing or whatever. One more thing, that one of the things that he said is you need to stick with the same ammo. I always shoot the heavy bismuth three inch six shot, one and an eight shot charge, uh, moving at 1400 feet per second. So that's what I'll be testing with today and that's what I'm gonna stick with. So I'm gonna get this dialed in where this gun's a killing machine more than it already is, so let's get started. 15 yards, no choke, on a rest. Shot number two. Shot number three. Shot number four. That is money right there. So as you see, without the choke, <laughs> this gun at 15 yards is center punched. It's not shooting high. It's not doing nothing crazy like some prior patterns I did. It was definitely the choke. That was a resting position. So now I'm going to pull this paper down, change it out, put a new one up, and I'm saving it. Well, we can look at it more later. And now I'm going to stand, shouldering the gun at 15 yards. I'll do for sure three, maybe four shots on that. So let's get started. No choke still, 15 yards, standing, shouldered. To make sure my point of impact and aim is lined up for me. Shot two. Shot three. I'll do shot four now. This, I'll be four shots. I'm gonna stop there. Still looks pretty centered, honestly. So now I'm seeing it was the choke. What do you guys think? Comment down below. You guys, if you watched the last pattern video, you seen, I'm gonna zoom a little bit more for the smaller because these do 30 inch, 20 inch, and 10. I mean, that's no different than the other one in my opinion. It's heavy in the middle. But you seen on the last video, my choke made it at 30 yards, made this gun look like it shot way high, like 90% over. Now, that being said, it was a smaller target, but I didn't have the density in the middle. So I'm gonna go change this target out. Now we're gonna put the choke in. All right guys, I've shot nine shells with no choke threads only. Here's the Mueller decoy choke. Gonna throw it in. Threads are gonna be all messed up now. Oh, look at, what do you know? <laughs> I 
The stuff we've been told over the years, guys, is just so funny to me. But anyways, screwed right in, no problem. As you see there. So I got the decoy choke in, Jim Muller. You can check him out at Muller Chokes, by the way. Everything's good. My barrel's good, because we shot it. No excuses, no chokes, nothing messing it up. The barrel is square. The barrel is good for me, shouldered. I don't need to shim nothing, I don't do nothing. So anything that happens now is straight up a choke. So let's do it. Shot one, rested. What are we gonna get here? Shot two. Looking good so far. Shot three. And my shoulder's getting sore. Shot four, this will be, we'll just do this as our last one. Not shooting right, not shooting left, not shooting high, not shooting low. Let's go. My goodness, that looks good. I mean, it is 15 yards, but look how full that is. I mean, obviously that's multiple shots. But. As we see at the 15 yards rested with the decoy choke is phenomenal. Now that is 15 yards and uh, you say, oh, okay, that doesn't matter. Well, I did some other tests with some other chokes in the past and you could see a major deviation even at 15 yards. But anyways, now I'm not gonna do standing. I don't need to, I already did it without the choke in. So, and I've been texting and talking to Jim Muller as I do this, make sure I'm doing exactly right. So now I'm gonna move back to 25 yards and then I'm gonna do 35 yards, uh, which is you know shooting distances of where I mainly shoot my birds. And that's the key is what he told me is it's always about how far you're shooting. If you're shooting them past that, use his passing choke you know 40 yards plus but i mean that's something i don't really do ever so anyways that's why we're shooting them at the distances so i'm gonna go back to 25 yards i'm gonna shoot four or five probably five at 25 yards and then four or five at 35 yards now we are on the pattern test this is the actual pattern testing with this choke so let's check it out all right this is 25 yards decoy choke rested Kind of pumped, kind of excited, kind of nervous to see what I what I see right here. Kind of wondering what it's gonna look like. Shot two. Shot three. Shot four. That's shot five. Uh yeah. <laughs> I would say that looks pretty good, boys. Stay tuned at the end. I'll uh, video them closer up talking about it. Phenomenal. Phenomenal is the only word I can say with that pattern. Unbelievable. Honestly, I, I cannot believe what that looks like. So now I'm back at 35 yards. I can't blame no nobody or nothing this season with that pattern. I've honestly always wanted a 50-50. I don't really like the little bit of a high, personally. I like putting it right on them. Uh, now that being said, I am putting the bead right under the crosshairs, just for your guys' reference. But anyways, uh, the, I'm back at 35 yards, gonna do five shots again. Five shots at 35 yards rested. Shot number one. Shot number three. Shot number four. Shot number five. All right, guys, it took me so long to count these hits. I literally been here for 45 minutes trying to count on both the 25 and the 35 yard targets. I haven't shot nothing in all my patterning that even comes close to this. Number one, my gun's not shooting high itself. It was the choke prior. Number two, I've always wanted like a 50-50 pattern. I'm not gonna say this is perfectly 50-50, but it's pretty close. Because if you look in each sector, like that top left quadrant, you got 108 in there, 179, and then 116. That's 108, they're exactly the same. Uh, 50, 158, that's really close to the left side. 98 in the center one. And then you come on the bottom, it's definitely, I'll just, you just can look yourself, but it's a little heavier on top, but barely. Like not much at all, honestly, because actually if you look in the two bottom uh, 20 inch circles, it's pretty identical to the top two 20 inch circles. So that being said, you need 70 to 100 pellets on a duck to 
reliably hit the vitals. I'm getting 258.6, guys, per shot in a 30 inch circle. That's nasty. And it's so even and it's so, it looks so good. I never, I haven't had anything like that. That's five shots. I had, um, oh man, I can't remember what it was. Do the math on it. I think it was like 12 or 1300. And then you divide that by five and it came up with 256, 258.6 pellets per shot in a 36 inch circle. Insane. So let's look at the 35 yards. So again, you need 70 to 100 inside a 30 inch circle to reliably hit vitals on a duck. At 35 yards, guys, 162 pellets inside a three inch circle. R riding sloppy, I'm just trying to hurry and get this done. But look at this, look at how clean this is. Insane. That's at 35 yards with the decoy choke. So that's all there is to say. I don't. I honestly don't have nothing to add to this. That's phenomenal. And to know that at 35 yards, you still have that many inside a 30 inch circle, you're, you have so much room for error to still kill that bird. And then shooting bismuth on top of that because of the, the density of it is just gonna go right through them. So uh, that's it, I'm done. <laughs> that's what I'm shooting this season, bottom line. I was so set on getting the passing choke and trying that one. But after seeing what this decoy does, I've been texting Jim Mueller on the Mueller on the side, and he said, by by those standards and how many pellets you're getting in the 30 inch circle, you could definitely that could go out to 40, 45 yards, no problem. Not that I'm taking those shots on average, but if I needed to, or I wanted to, a bird's dead on the water, you are are wounded on the water, I can take that shot. So phenomenal uh give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed this i can't do it any better of a pattern test than i just did right now that's the best one i've ever done on this channel because a professional told me how to do it i know there are other others have but i really wanted to take the time and do it and make sure my gun wasn't messed up or something wasn't off and it wasn't i highly 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 suggest you guys check out the mvm show podcast listen to part one part two is even better than part one and then I got a part three and four out and probably out by the time you watch this, I'll all be out. So go check those out. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you like duck hunting and pattern videos like this. And thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.